Connector Construction. RIDOT is preparing to spend big money on one of the biggest public works projects in state history. It's a story we first reported live at 5. New tonight, a public hearing on the issue is held with many expressing their opinion on the plan. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan has been following the story for a week. She joins us now live in Providence tonight with the follow-up. Kelly? 30 years ago, a design plan was approved to repair the 610 connector. The only problem was there's no funding for it. But at tonight's meeting, RIDOT says they have the funding, but they're scrapping those plans and instead getting input from the community on this major project. Nearly 100,000 vehicles travel on the 610 connector every day, making it one of the busiest roadways in the state. But it's also in some of the worst condition, with reinforcements needing reinforcements themselves. A departure from the normal thinking. Wednesday night, RIDOT we held its first meeting with the public to share possible design plans career. for the 610 so, connector. Uh, One option is to rebuild it using traditional highway methods. The other option is to use elements of a boulevard approach with access to side streets and dedicated bus lanes. The pictures that they're showing right now have a lot more green than they've shown in the past, uh, but they show more infrastructure as opposed to less, and over time that infrastructure will cost us dearly. Governor Gina Raimondo's roadworks program will use an estimated $400 million of truck toll money to repair the interchange in its nine bridges, but some believe that money could be used elsewhere. This is not a road that's used by trucks, and, and this is not, it's not appropriate to be taking extra money from trucks in order to pay to rebuild these bridges. I think that we could look economically to this boulevard idea as pulling back on bridges much further than, than uh, DOT has depicted. Mayor Jorge Alorza also agrees with the boulevard approach. From other cities that have used either an opportunity like this to create either a highway or a road or boulevard that actually connects neighborhoods together and at the same time creates development and investment opportunities. So at tonight's meeting, RIDOT Director Peter Elvidi says there are several stakeholders involved and so he's trying to listen to everyone to try and come up with the best solution for this project. He says he's also currently filling out an application to try and get some federal grant money. Back to you. Kelly, we also know that there were planners who worked on projects all over the country at this meeting tonight. So what advice did they have to offer? Well, Shannon, these planners said that they were involved in deconstructing highways in other cities, including the South Bronx and in Milwaukee. And they said that when they deconstructed these highways and they created a boulevard approach connecting with the communities, that it actually worked. And in fact, they also brought up the examples of large cities like Paris and London. Those cities do not have major highways that intersect through the cities. And the people there rely on uh, subways and uh, public transportation and either bike or walk to work. So so they want to give these examples to these skeptics who don't think that this boulevard approach work and so they just want to show that if this boulevard approach is instituted here in Providence that it is something that could help the local economy. All right, that's Iowa News News reporter Kelly Sullivan reporting live in Providence tonight. Thank you, Kelly. And you can read in depth about RIDOT's 610 connector revamp plan. It's on our website right now at WPRI.com.